Hey everybody, Three Nugget Tears here. Coming from me at the claim. It's a little brisk today. We left this morning, it was like 30 degrees. Thought we were in California. <laughs> so today's video is gonna be a little different. Today's gonna be a short one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of explain to you uh, what we look for in, our, in the gravel bar or, or in a claim and, and where we start to dig and why we dig where we dig. Um, I'm going to go through a couple things here and we're going to show you. We're going to take a test bucket here. We're going to fill it up and see how much gold we can find. Alrighty, stay tuned. Alrighty. So, right there, that's where the Ohio boys were digging. They were right here about a month ago. A little over a month ago. Um, and as you can see, there's some bedrock right here. They were digging through here, and they got they got a decent amount of gold. They got about two, two and a half grams out of that little hole there. So uh, I did some more inspecting, and I was just walking around, and, you know, we got bedrock all up through here. Um, and what I'm standing on here, big old chunk of bedrock. Let me get down over here and show you. Okay, here's where they were digging. Big chunk of bedrock. Sticks right out from the hill. That is like a big riffle. So when I'm looking for gravel on a gravel bar to dig, now this isn't two toes, you know, uh, approved. But if you're looking for just gravel to dig for flood gold, this is what I look for. Solid bedrock like this sticks up above the sandbar and creates a little, you can see there's a lot of sand right here. Okay, so you know there's, there's a lot of, uh, uh, fluid coming through here a lot of water and you go to this big old piece of bedrock and then right on the other side bam 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 you start getting these big rocks i just pulled this one out here before i started filming that was right there and as soon as you pull those rocks out step down here now you can see it's about i'd say three feet as soon as we pull, pulling them rocks out we got some decent looking gravel And as we follow this along, this is all bedrock. We get to this little pocket here. Here's some more bedrock that sticks out. Now, I have always done real well in this uh, broken up quartz like this. It's kind of a white colored, little bit of small gravel in it. You know, again, this is not two toes, two toes approved. <laughs> But uh, there's a big boulder there. But that piece of bedrock there is causing a dead flow right here. All these bigger rocks are forming up right here. So this is the kind of things that I look for. So what we're gonna do, I brought a bucket and a classifier and a shovel. Oh, there's a hose clamp in there. <laughs> uh, anyhow, we are going to take some dirt from up here, all along through here, down through here. We're gonna take about you know, three or four gallons worth of dirt. I'm going to take it back, run it through the sluice box, and see what we get. Alrighty. Now, the classifier I'm using, it classes it down to a little bit bigger than a quarter inch, maybe three eighths, something like that. But pretty small. So we're going to build a lot of dirt in this bucket. a day or two ago so everything's real sticky so I'm trying to get everything as clean as I can. I was trying to knock off these big rocks like this just to get all that actual dirt off there because gold blows sticking to those rocks like that. Classifier. <laughs> All right, let's go take a minute. Yeah, 
probably should have brought some more glass wire. Like I said, we'll have a lot of dirt. Hopefully, a lot of gold, too. We'll see. Well, you never know. Sometimes. Some good cracks up here. Alrighty, we're back. We got that bucket of dirt. I was gonna fill up the sluice and run through the sluice, but there ain't that much in there. So, we're gonna pan it. Alright, let's see here. It's not about that much. Ugh. Now, again, if you don't have one of these Garrett Super Sluice pans, you, you need to get them. They're pretty inexpensive. Honestly, they do an amazing job. Alright. Doing a nice good shake. Hopefully we got some gold in here. If not, got a whole bunch of video or not. <laughs> It's too much black sand. Well, that's not a good sign. A couple little specks. I don't know if you can see that or not, but not really what I was hoping for. Alright, take it in the I'll leave that in there. Let's see what that's going up. I like to get my hand sometimes. There's a lot in the hand. That kind of helps. You know what? Moves your stuff right off the top. Now me personally, I like to pan this down to where I can see this first little ridge. That way I don't have that much material in my pan. And my panning skills I have pretty confidence in, so I don't think I've lost that much gold, if any. So we'll see here. Now we already did have some gold in here from the first pan. Yeah, we got a little bit of gold in there. Alrighty. So, that's the gold we got. It's not bad for what little dirt we had in there. Now, if we had a whole five gallon bucket full, ran through the sluice, might not be too bad. I don't have to get over there and dig better. <laughs> So those are just like some of the things I say that we look for when we're, uh, you know, panning gravel or loose sandy gravel is any kind of bedrock, exposed bedrock, you know, on the opposite side of the flow, usually a dead zone. And uh, that's what you want to look for. You want to look for those dead zones and, um, and that's where the heavies will fall off. Black sands, irons, and of course gold. I don't know, it's probably... 20 30 pieces in there if this was gold rush we'd have a 700 million dollar season <laughs> all righty let's go back over and get a bucket from that other spot test it out see you in a minute all righty we're back over here we're back over here in this stuff here and like I said before, I have always had really good luck in this kind of 
busted up quartz looking uh, stuff here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the exact same amount of dirt from here, we're gonna go over and pan it, and we're gonna test it and see. That's all I'm gonna do. Okay, Kelly. And we'll see. Uh, you know, the other pipe was you know, about five feet over to the left. So. I know some of you thinking, boy, I thought we lose dirt. But we're digging flower gold. Flood gold. We're looking for quantity over quality when you're doing flood gold like this. You know, this is something you can go out with a bucket and a pan and go out to a gravel bar and find gold. Oh, shit, two shovelfuls gone. All right, there we go. I got about the same amount. Maybe just a pair more. But, I mean, there's maybe a gallon of dirt in there. Okay, head back down to the river. I got a heck of a walk. The ladies got themselves fired on. They've been cold all morning. I think the high today is 54. So, yeah, they've been chilly. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll see you at the river. Alrighty. Bucket of material. I'll start doing, we'll do half and half. Oh boy. All right. Yeah, look this water is chilly. Your pan, I always think of a marble right down the bottom of my pan. And I'm trying to keep that marble right in the crease of that bottom of that pan. Because that's where the gold's going to be, right there in that crease. All that light stuff can come up and out and keep the gold right down there in the bottom. And like I said, I like to get it to where I can see the second rib. That's how far I pan down. Now this is what we've gotten so far. <laughs> that one, one spot. A couple nice little flakes in there. And that block sand just littered with some minus 500 million gold. Some nap poop. Or as the wife calls it, some galaxy gold. And we still got so what we're going to do is we're going to leave that in the pan. We'll just leave that little bit in there as well. And I'm going to dump that in there and we're going to pan it all together. See what we get. I feel like this is going to be better than the other spot. Looks like it already. I know some of you are probably going, oh my gosh, you should have suckered that up. Well, I'm pretty confident in my panning skills. And I know for the most part, gold's going to go right down the bottom. That's all I'm going to say there. So, make sure it's down the bottom. Get some of that money stuff right up the top. All right, here we go. Let's see what we get. And if we get less gold, then we know I pan some out. <laughs> I don't know if you can see or not, I'm just loaded with black sand. Alright. Okay. Well, when the sun's not out, this green pan kind of hard to see gold in. But what can you move some material with it?
Oh yeah, way better pan. Again, like I said, I've always had really good luck in that crushed up quartz looking stuff. That's not bad. Not bad at all. There we go. Well, I would say we definitely got more gold in that second spot. And that's not bad for just two shovelfuls. And that's all I put through this sieve is two shovelfuls, so nice little piece there. I heard a shovel. Ha <laughs> ha. Hi ladies. They've been up here working while I've been panning. <laughs> But what we're gonna do is Ooh, right in there. I think we got it all. So they've been over here running the high banker. They've got they've been running maybe an hour or so. Yeah, you think? Well, if you two held still, I wouldn't lose you. <laughs> Getting some material ready. And we're going to fire her up and see what's going on here. See what they got in the box. I haven't even looked over here yet. Ugh. Let's see if we can find any gold. Oh, I see gold. <laughs> yeah, ladies. Oh, I see some, oh, it's just littered in here. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Boulder. I don't know if you can see up in here or not, but a piece of gold right there. They'll get mad if I'm poking in their box. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, stay tuned. We'll see how we all do today. Alrighty, everybody. So we're back at the house, and I wanted to kind of show you what you can do from home, even, to help yourself find more gold when you do go to the, to the river. Now, this is just a segment off of uh, Google Maps. Um, I just picked a spot on the Yuba River here and uh, zoomed in on a gravel bar. So if we were looking at this gravel bar, you see here's the river. The flow is going this way. You'll start to see up here, light wash sand, looks like light sand. Start to get to bigger gravel, bigger gravel. And then you see right in here, all these bigger boulders. Kind of in a line almost like. Well, that's where you can tell where I would start digging in this line because that's where a lot of the heavier gold is going to be your bigger gold is going to be right here in this line and now this is something you can do from home you know before you head out to the river just look at it on google maps kind of get an aerial view see where the bigger boulders are lying and you can definitely see the further you come out to the river they kind of go out you know they start to uh, get smaller a little bit and you go this way they start to get smaller a little bit but from right here all the way up through here would be a really good spot to start digging. You know, anywhere in this area, you know you're gonna start finding gold. So I hope in this video, it wasn't our normal, you know, uh, digging dirt through the sluice box type video, but I hope you uh, got some information out of it to maybe help you find a little more gold the next time you go out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share. It really helps the channel out. And uh, everyone have a great day. Heavy pans to all.